by, by clicking on this bar up here, I can select a couple of songs at once. So, for example, let's say I wanted track number 11. Very nice indeed. And let's say I also wanted track number 19. By clicking both of those and clicking OK, it's going to import both those tracks, both 11 and 19 at the same time. So you can see I have track 6, 11, and 19 in their entirety. Now, the other choice in this menu, if, if you wanted to do so, you could import all the songs off the CD by clicking this one button here. So you have three choices in this, in this checklist function. All of them, uh, just one at a time without check marking, and this gives you the ability you know, to check mark and identify specific tracks. But I'm going to cancel that because I already have my songs. Now, I should also point out that in addition to, to standard audio CDs, what are typically called WAV files, W-A-V, we also now have the capability with Smart Edit 6 to read MP3 files saved on a disk. So it gives you greater capability and, and much more capacity on disk to save your MP3 files and bring those in in the new CD audio import feature in Smart Edit 6. Now, if I wanted to, I could come here and anywhere in the Casablanca menu where you have this text um, file, if you will, by left clicking on that, it brings up the virtual keyboard. And let's say I wanted to call this piano and flute. But in the interest of time and with my great typing skills, I'm going to just call this piano and flute 1. And then we have piano and flute 2 and so forth. Some people like to organize their, their, uh, their clip window by putting uh, like the letter M for music. Okay, so that piece is music. And over here, I have N. I've actually uh, beforehand recorded a narration clip. So you can record narration by, most folks would connect an audio mixer to their Casablanca and take the line level, which is the record outputs, and put them in the front of the rear of the Casablanca. Again, if you have the newer models, you could connect a microphone straight to the mic jack and record the signal that way. And there's a whole host of capabilities we have within this. We can split a sound sample up into each of the separate parts. And there's this great feature as well that's in Smart Edit 6. It was introduced in Smart Edit 5, and that's the ability to edit music to the beat. And, and that is enabled by clicking this button. For a detailed explanation, see the tutorial DVD. It's called the uh, Addendum to Smart Edit 5, and you can get that at no charge from your Casablanca dealer or by calling our office in Colorado. In addition to split, we can trim as well. So you can trim the beginning of a clip, and we can also trim the ending of a clip. And it's interesting to note that on many songs, there's, there's a lot of, of dead space at the end of the song, so you could trim it to be just the proper length. So now my song is one minute and eight frames long. Uh, you can delete uh, and, and undelete your clips. Uh, there is also the ability, again, to record your narration, to stop the recording, to play back your song. And this is another great feature that was introduced in Smart Up 5, and that's the ability to take your audio samples and export them to CD, burning it right in your Casablanca. Again, that is also covered in detail on the Addendum to Smart Edit 5 training DVD. The other two menus give you some new capabilities in, in, in the audio record and edit window. New sample lets you create uh, sounds. Remember before when we did that uh, jingle effects and we had that page turn? Well, you can access those sounds as well right here. So there's our page turn. There's our, our car racing, and you have, again, uh, a couple of other sounds. More to come on the jingle effects packages. Um, you also have a, a sine wave sound, which is essentially a test tone, and you have silence um, that uh, you, you can manipulate and use to lower and adjust sounds. Again, that's something that's done in the audio mix window, and we'll save that topic for another day. That's what I would call a more advanced capability in the audio mix window within the Casablanca interface. So it creates that test tone for us. Just in case by some chance you've fallen asleep at this point in time in the tutorial, I just wanted to make sure you're now awake. The other neat thing we can do is, is in special, we have the ability um, to, to go ahead, and I'm going to go switch this to default, so we can copy the left channel onto the right, the right channel onto the left. We can make a copy of the whole audio sample. We can make it mono. I can mute the left or the right track. So sometimes you just need these tools on a production you're working with 
you may have one great track of audio in the left channel or the right, and the other needs some work, and you have that capability. You see there's a number of different sound choices that you have by adjusting the volume, um, and there's even some surround sound capabilities right within the Casablanca Smart Edit interface. Now, I want to step back because earlier in the tutorial, I told you about this great button, and that's this button here. Under the special menu, we have the ability to take a scene and strip off the audio and send it over to the audio menu. So here's that scene from Mickey Jones. I go special and then I go scene to sample and I click OK and as instant as that here is the soundtrack. So I went down to get a Casablanca. Well, I saw the Avio. Okay. Really, really great tool to enable you to, to work with all your different sounds. I also want to point out that we have a great new add-on package called Audio Effects Pack, and uh, it is worth its weight in gold. Uh, there, there are a whole host of tools and effects capabilities that you can use, and this again is the Audio Effects Pack. You can preview that or pre-listen to that right in your, in your Smart Edit interface in your Edit Suite, um, and you can load this on the All Software CD that came with your Casablanca. Now that we've added some music to our, our sound sample bin here, we're going to go ahead and take the next logical step, and that's to go over to the audio mix window. And it's here that we're going to blend or mix all of our audio, all of our sounds. Now you can see here that I have six tracks of audio. The original track that audio came in with from the camera, the second and third track, which are, you know, we have, you actually have a variety of tracks that you can play with however you so choose. A lot of people would use this second track for their narration or their commentary, the third and fourth perhaps for your music tracks, and originally in the Casablanca, the last two tracks were designed to put effects, sound effects, background sounds, and that kind of thing. But again, you can use them however you see fit. And by clicking on a track, you see that the little identifier is highlighted here on the right side, and that will identify where we're going to put a particular sound sample. Now there already is sound up here as I go ahead and play this back. Hello. It's the sound that came in with the camera track. So that's just the kind of the background sounds of the aquarium. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to adjust that, but it's easier to show you after I add another audio sample. So I'm going to come down here to this third track down, and I'm going to put a piece of background music. First of all, I probably want to know how long my whole uh, piece is. So I come to the edit window, and I click on I for information, and I can see the length of my storyboard is 104 and uh, 12 frames. But I have to keep in mind that, remember, I have some extraneous material on here. I have these clips over here, and so I really want to find out how long the production is in front of this extra stuff. And it's right here in that same information button. The position shows all the content up to this point in time. So my initial production, when I'm talking about the aquarium here, is 42 seconds and 27 frames. Now that does include some black as well. So I need to have a piece that's around 40 seconds long. So I go back to Audio Mix, and I want to start with this first scene where I have my titles. Uh, it's, it's a matter of preference and style, but I'm one who likes to start my music, uh, you know, beginning with the first scene. So I click Add, and it shows me my choices. These are all the audio samples we were playing with and we added a few minutes ago. So here's that flute piece, and I can click this again just to... That's nice. That works for me. So I click OK, and you can see that it adds that track. And it'll, it'll run as long as, as, as the original sound sample or song was in this case. And you can see it goes into this other material. Well, a common question is, that's nice, Chet, but how do I shorten that up? Let me show you. What we want to do is we want to click on this sound sample and use this range button that we've used previously today. And by going to trim, we keep it on trim, and I'm adjusting the out point. In other words, where this song's going to end. And I want it to end just as it goes to black. Now I happen to know that it's a crossfade to black, so I find my black scene here and I'm going to add one additional second to let it fade out. So right now my song is 3312, so I'm going to go to 3412, adding one second to it. And again, for preciseness, I can use these arrows at the bottom here. And so now my song goes all the way to the end of that crossfade. 
Very nice, very simple. If I want the song to fade in and fade out, again, very simple on the Casablanca Smart Edit interface. I select a song. Two ways to know you've got the song selected or the audio sample selected. You see, when you click on a sample, it turns a lighter color blue here.